Hi friends, Appliance Paul here, bringing you an exciting video about air conditioner refrigerants. Yeah, that's right. Recently, I was checking out my nearly 10-year-old Daewoo air conditioner and discovered that it's using R22, commonly known as Freon, as its refrigerant. Now, R22 was discontinued in new units in 2010, and it's scheduled for a total phase out by 2020 as far as servicing existing units. The R22 is an HCFC compound, which um, color coded in orange here on the spreadsheet, stands for hydrochlorofluorocarbon. And the problem with these um, HCFCs is that the chlorine molecule um, reacts with the oxygen molecules in our ozone layer, depleting the oxygen in the ozone layer. And um, due to the Montreal Protocol of 1987, to get countries on board with clean refrigerants, um, eventually we're going to see HCFCs, or, or the R22, totally phased out um, in favor of newer, better um, environmentally friendly efficient compounds, specifically what's color-coded in green here, the hydrocarbons or HCs on the spreadsheet. Now the HCFCs were an advancement over the CFCs in red here. That stands for chlorofluorocarbons and the HCFCs are actually 90% less reactive with ozone oxygen than the CFCs. Um, but nonetheless, the HCFCs still emit a greenhouse gas and contribute to global warming. But the um, CFCs, the, again in red, the chlorofluorocarbons, were considered um, an advancement in refrigeration. It's interesting that back in the 20s, refrigerants uh, were, were initially hydrocarbons. That's the trend. It's going back to that trend now. I read somewhere that there was up to three pounds of organic isobutane in original refrigerators, which is very uh, volatile. Um, the drawback to the hydrocarbons are that they are extremely flammable and they can include propane, isobutane, and ammonia. Ammonia is used predominantly in the marine cooling industry as well as large scale uh, food storage um, industry as well. The hydrocarbons are the coldest. They output the coldest air. They're the most efficient and they're non-polluting. They don't deplete the ozone layer um, or contribute to greenhouse gases, commonly known as global warming. The um, successor to the HCFCs is uh, in most air condition units that you'll buy today in 2017 are either the R410A or the R32. Now these are both HFCs in purple, which stands for hydrofluorocarbon. Note the absence of the chlorine molecule in this compound. Do not deplete the ozone layer, um, but they still react with the greenhouse layer to some degree. The refrigerants you're getting today for your air condition units, um, they're probably HFCs. This LG here that I was just researching, in fact, is using R32. That's also going to be phased out within the next 10 years as we're moving towards um, non-polluting organic hydrocarbon compounds. I've read on some forums that the 410A um, does not perform as cool as the R22 in air condition systems. Some say as much as 2 degrees Fahrenheit um, less cooling than the R22. In either event, you don't want to fill your R22 systems with R410A as the 410A requires higher pressure components, specifically in the compressor and refrigerant lines. The R32 HFC is slightly more efficient than the 410A, but it operates at, at a higher discharge temperature, which equals uh, greater oil breakdown and consequently gr higher rate of compressor failure. By oil breakdown, I'm referring to all refrigerants use an oil lubricant to keep the 
coolant moving through the lines. R22 used or uses a mineral based lubricant. The other ones mostly use a synthetic oil. Your car's air conditioner is most likely using R134A. It is the successor to the obsolete R12. Notice that's a chlorofluorocarbon, a bad guy. And if you're driving a car from 1994 or later, it's most likely using R134A as that's the year that R12 was made obsolete. So it's interesting that the trend forward is definitely moving towards hydrocarbons, which was the initial refrigerant um, used back in the 1920s. Well, if you've watched this far, you're probably a cooling systems refrigerant enthusiast. It's okay, you're in good company. Post your comments below.